at this opportunity, let us train in samadhi, concentration. The individuals who have built a lot of parami, spiritual development, like the rich merchant Anatta Pindika and the great lay female follower Lady Wisaka, were already sodapanas, stream enterers, since the time of a past Buddha. And coming to this life, they deeply understood the Dhamma again. But they had made the vow to serve on all the Buddhas. They had their own inner mandates. They were born as human beings, and then to being Dewatas, heavenly beings, and then from Dewatas to human beings. Or for the noble disciples of the Lord Buddha, whether they were male or female, bhikkhus or bhikkhunis, they made an aspiration in their minds, and from the goodness they did, they were born between the human and Dewa realms, from the time of the past Buddha to the time of our Buddha. They were considered to already have a lot of barami, and these individuals had to develop their barami until it was full, by doing dhana, giving, by keeping sila, morality, the precepts, in practicing samadhi, and to cultivating wisdom. But if we are only practicing for wisdom alone, we do samadhi and only want to get wisdom, then our barami is not quite ready yet. It will be difficult to get to the end of the path. Because in walking the long path of sangsara, the cycle of birth and death, if we don't have food supplies, it will be difficult and troublesome. So dana is compared to the supplies on our travels. Because if we have too much suffering, and we have no wisdom, then it will be difficult for us to practice Dhamma. And we can see that each religion needs to have the bark, the sapwood and the heartwood, so that it can maintain the quality of that religion for a long time. The founders of all the religions, they saw that it wasn't that there were only people who had knowledge and intelligence. This is that the ability of people, or their merit and parami, varies. There are both those who aren't that intelligent and those who are very intelligent. The ones that are not that intelligent have to be taught and instructed first, and then they will get smarter by stages and understand deeper until they can get to the level of wisdom. As for the person with wisdom, however they are taught, they will understand clearly. If they are taught to give up their sense of self and to give up selfishness, they can do it and know what it means. They have the faith to do it. There's no need to tell them much, because they learn quickly. This is because they have built merit and barami before. They have done dana before, and have been generous before. They know what is of substance to them, and what is not of substance. Like all the wealth and material objects are communal things that are in this world. Whichever person gains it, will change it so that it brings up more benefit than before, through being generous and sharing. They do it in line with their ability, in a way that doesn't trouble themselves and their family. It is not that they give and then become needy and troubled, and wishing for merit in the future. This is not understanding the meaning of merit. The merit arises in the present moment. It's not that one does merit and the mind is ill at ease, and then one will get the merit later in the future. Where do you think you will get it? In the present, you need to have happiness in your actions. The Buddha taught us to separate the wealth that we gain into portions. For one part, we support our life, support our children, grandchildren, and assist relatives and we keep some for treatment in times of sickness, and we also give dana. This dana, or the different traditions we follow, if we do them properly, it's a beginning level of practice. In one tree there are all the leaves, the bark, the sapwood, and the heartwood. If we talk about giving to make merit, and being generous, this is compared to the leaves. But we see that if there is one large tree which has the sapwood, the heartwood, 
the bark and the leaves, but if the leaves all fall off, we will see that the tree is not complete. And if the leaves don't regrow, then this tree won't be able to survive, because the food for the tree needs to be supported by the leaves, and supported by sunlight through photosynthesis. So we can't say that the leaves aren't important. Like in the mountains in our monastery, where the leaves of the tree are green and fresh, we see it and we feel refreshed and we gain shade. If the trees didn't have leaves, we wouldn't be able to gain shade, or to use them to rest under. So on the level of dana barami, it is very important to them, but we must understand that the practice is deeper, which is about finding and getting to the heartwood. And in doing this, we will then get to the bark of the tree. The bark of the tree is like the level of sila. If the tree has no bark, it can't survive, and we wouldn't be able to get to the heartwood or the sapwood. There needs to be the bark that covers it, to retain its moisture. So the various religious ceremonies can make our mind feel joyful, cheerful and in good spirits. It can bring up inner joy and satisfaction in doing dana and sila. This is the tool that nourishes the kind consideration for each other and to have cheerfulness and joy arise. So our building of goodness is done in levels. When Venerable Yasa first listened to the teachings of the Buddha, and when Anatta Pindika listened to the Dhamma of the Lord Buddha, they were taught about giving dana and the result of making merit and dana. And this is something that we all do regularly. By having the faith to do it, doing it regularly, or wanting to repeat it again, our minds are cheerful and bright. They do this one thing, and then they want to do that thing again. Is there anything more that I can do to make merit and to make barami? So this is called the resulting benefit in doing goodness. We can see it clearly in our minds. We have joy in the mind. So even if someone doesn't do that much, 100 baht, 200 baht, 300 baht, or 500 baht, they do just a little at a time, but they have happiness and inner satisfaction in doing that merit. The result from giving is already full in the heart. And when it's like this, it will progress to sila. We can see that we can give dana easily. We have done it till it's in our character and habits. Then we progress to having sila, to the five precepts, by keeping them on the days we are off or when we have time. But later we may add another day, and until we can be determined to keep the five precepts fully. On some days there may be deficiencies, which is normal, but we do not harm or bear ill will to others. Some people may sometimes break certain precepts, but they are ones who are determined to build goodness, and they don't harm themselves or others. They have only dana, giving. They look over and are careful of their minds, and of their actions and speech so as not to harm others. They can do this, but they need to have forbearance. Even if they have the wisdom to say things back, but they have the patience to not do it. And this is difficult to do. And it is even more difficult when we have the power or barami, like being the boss, and we have to patiently endure the workers. If the workers argue with the boss, the boss can win over them easily, but the boss doesn't do that. The one with power doesn't do that. And so, they need to have a lot of forbearance, even more than the workers. This is one example. So when we have dana and have sila, this is compared to a tree having big leaves and having bark that is complete which can look after the sapwood and the heartwood. But we see that having sila, the mind still wavers. Sometimes there are good thoughts, sometimes bad thoughts. We have anger and ill will. Anger comes up and then it lasts a long time. Each mind has anger and then it becomes embedded in the heart. This is called gilesa, the mental defilements, which leads to the arising of gamma, and the results of gamma to arise in the mind. And so we will have ill will coming up now and then. 
This is deeply embedded in the heart. And so we give forgiveness. Giving forgiveness is harder to give than the exterior dana. It is dana on the inside. If we can give forgiveness, then entering samadhi and having joy arise and managing the gilesas is easier to do. So we people differ in our merit and wasana, spiritual development. Some do just a little amount of dana, whereas some have the strength and barami to do it a lot. It is like the trees that have big leaves that give off a lot of shade. They have wide and broad branches where birds, animals and humans can be supported by the tree. There are some very big trees which have hollow cavities inside and people can even go and live there, even raise a family there. I saw in Australia, in the city of Adelaide, there was one extremely big tree. Back in that time, this family had no house to live in as they had just immigrated from another country. They came to Adelaide, Australia, and they had children and then grandchildren, a big family. And later on, they even had a day where all the relatives would come back to gather together there at the tree. And so here we can see that a big tree that has shade and gives off coolness can make people come and be supported by it, and many animals can come to be supported off of it. So may you build your goodness, build dana to be your regular habit and character, keep sila as your habit and character, make it be a merit that we do regularly. Even if we have the wisdom to talk and argue back, or we have the wisdom to challenge others, but we don't do it. Like the Buddha who had wisdom, and when others tried in whatever ways to persecute him, he was just equanimous, indifferent to it, and he bared it patiently. Or if there were the ones who wanted to kill him, he would even spread metta, goodwill to them. The Buddha was not angry, and had no ill will to them. Here we take the life of the Buddha as our principles to instruct our minds. By practicing like this, we will develop our minds, and then we will have happiness in this life and the next life, and in no long time you will all see the Dhamma. May you grow in blessings.